Good morning, everybody, and welcome. I hope you're all doing well. Happy Tuesday to you. So I'm going to start standing up this morning, and, and let's start in a comfortable standing position. So we're going to um, let me straighten out my mat. We're going to stand in our mountain pose, so our feet are about hip width apart. Our knees are slightly bent. We've got our shoulders nice and relaxed. We're going to bring our hands to heart center and start to draw attention to your breath this morning. So we'll take a couple of deep breaths here, closing your eyes, drawing the air, the breath from your belly, and let it flow all the way up through the chest, through the throat, through the nose. And as you're ready to exhale, exhale very slowly through your mouth. Feel your shoulders start to drop down your back. Beautiful. So let's start out this morning. We're going to stand with our knees slightly bent our feet in mountain pose. So we're going to hunch over, round the back, let the shoulders drop forward, kind of like a semi rag doll here. And then very gently we're going to come up slowly, rolling, starting to roll the shoulders, take them up to your ears, and then gently rolling them all the way down your back to where you are standing with your chest open, your heart is lifted, and your neck is slightly bent back. And then as you exhale, we're gonna come down and crouch a little bit into ragdoll, bent knees, keeping the knees slightly bent. Inhale, come on up, rolling the shoulders up to the ears, then gently letting them Float down your back, opening the chest, lifting the heart. Good. Exhale, curving the spine, relaxing up the arms and elbows. Inhale, taking it up. Shoulders up to your ears. Rolling your shoulders back, lifting your heart. Exhale, hunching forward. Inhale, rise. Shoulders up and rolling back. Good, beautiful. We'll do two more. So we're going to crouch forward, curving the spine. Really opening up the shoulders. Inhale, coming up. Rolling the shoulders back, lifting the chest, opening the heart center. Last one, crouching forward. Inhale, come on up. Shoulders up to the ears, then roll them down your back, lifting the heart, opening the chest. Pause here. Good. So coming back to center, let's raise our arms up. So our, our feet are a little wider than hip width. So we're going to raise the arms up as you inhale. And then we're going to slightly take them to the side, hinge from the waist. And we're going to bring the hands forward, palms facing away from you, scooting across. And then bringing our arms up and around, kind of going into a big circle here. So arms coming down, let your hands feel like you're pushing water. Gently flowing, inhale, taking your arms up and around, we're rotating the spine, opening the shoulders, 
the elbows, the wrists, good, the knees, coming around, good, inhale, come up, nice big circle, and then exhale, come around, inhale, come up, exhale, nice big circle, push, push, push the water, and then float up, going. You're doing great. Breathing. Inhale. Take your arms up and around. And then coming forward, pushing the water up and then around. Beautiful. Feeling your spine, lower lumbar area start to And then coming back to center. Beautiful. So now we're going to keep our knees slightly bent and take the left foot over to the right side. So knees are bent. We're going to place your hands on your shoulders. And then as you exhale, we're going to take the foot out, reach out with your arms. So we're stretching out that left leg. Inhale, come forward. Exhale. Stretch it out. Good. Inhale, coming in. Slightly bent knees. Exhale, taking the foot out. Good. Inhale, slightly bent knees. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Great. Inhale. So let's come on over to the other side. So our knees are slightly bent again. Feel this in your shoulders. Feel this all the way from your shoulders down to your ankles. So placing the hands on the shoulders. As you bring your right foot in towards the left and then take it out to the side. Good. Inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale. Inhale in, exhale out, beautiful, inhale in, exhale out, last one, inhale in, exhale out, beautiful. So come into a nice comfortable standing position, Knee, feet are about hip width apart, we're extending the arms out to the sides, keeping the shoulders, roll down our backs. Nice straight spine, knees slightly bent. And as you're ready, we're going to flex the hands up and down. So it just takes the hands up and down. Good. Good. And then spread your fingers up nice and wide. Nice and wide. Wide open chest. Spreading out the fingers as wide as you can, and then clench them tightly. So feel all of that tension from your shoulders down to your wrists. Good. And then flex them up and down, and up and down. Spread the fingers out nice and wide. Good. Clench the fist tightly. And then just let your fingers flutter. Beautiful. Beautiful. So now let's come into a little bit of a wider stance and do a few um, squats. So the knees are slightly bent. We're going to bring our hands to heart center. And keeping the knees slightly bent, when you come up, you don't want to lock the knees. You want to keep them slightly bent. So inhale, we're going to dip down. Arms come up and out. Nice and wide. Exhale, bring hands to heart center. Inhale, nice and wide. Beautiful. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, nice and wide, really opening the chest. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Inhale, maybe dip down a little bit farther. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
keeping the spine nice and long. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale, arms out, dipping down. Exhale, back to heart center. This time we're going to hold for just a couple of breaths. So nice wide arms. Your spine is as tall as you can make it. And breathe. Beautiful, and then come on up, relax. Shake your legs out, shake your arms out a little bit. Good. So now let's take this left foot forward, and we're gonna bring the right foot back to a 90 degree angle. And that really helps support your balance. So what we're doing here is we're gonna take the arms, clasp the hands behind your back. Shoulders are rolling, fall, rolling back. Your front knee is nice and firm and straight, and just stretch out here. So lifting the chest and the heart, stretching out your arms, feeling that stretch all the way from your shoulders to your wrists. And then as you're comfortable, come forward to wherever it works for you. Continuing to open the chest and roll the shoulders up and breathe. Breathing, good, 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 good. And then gently let your arms relax down and come on up. Let's go over to the other side. So just flip the feet. And then we've got that right knee nice and firm and straight. So taking the hands, clasping them behind you, roll those shoulders down your back and just stretch out right here. Maybe tilting your head up just ever so slightly, opening the chest and lifting the heart center. Good, breathing. And then as you're ready, come forward Maybe resting on your knee, maybe not. And lift your arms up. Feel that nice opening in your shoulders. And breathe. And then gently relax the arms. Good. So come back into a wide stance. We're going to take our hands to the hips. And hinge forward, knees are still slightly bent. We're going to take our hands to the hips and fold forward. Hinge from the waist, good. And then just come down into your rag doll. So you're letting your arms just float down towards the mat. Let your head just feel weightless. Maybe bob it up and down. Turn it to the left and right. Stretching out that cervical spine. And then as you're ready, take your elbows into your hands. And we're going to come over to the left side, bending the left knee. Straightening out the right, but don't lock the right knee. And then we're going to shift from the center on over to the right side, bending that right knee. So giving our knees some love, our hips, our hamstrings, quads, calves, ankles, all, all that good stuff. Back and forth, breathing. Good, very gentle movement. And then let your arms fall once again. Let your head relax into ragdoll. And then as you're ready, gently walk your hands up your legs. Come up very slowly, one vertebra at a time. Head is the last thing to come up. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so while we're in a nice wide stance, let's come into our warrior two. So the left foot is pointed straight out. Right foot is at 90 degrees. We've got the left knee bent. We're going to square our hips off to the center without letting the knee fall in. We don't want any knee injuries. So keeping this nice and firm. And then as you're ready, inhale, lift the arms. Looking over your left fingertips, your shoulders are nice and soft. And breathe into this very wonderful pose. Strong warriors. Good, beautiful. And then as you're ready, bring that left elbow down to the left knee. The right arm comes up, looking skyward. Breathing. And then gently let your right arm slide down your right leg. Inhale, the left arm comes up, looking skyward. And then release the left arm. So let's just pivot the feet over to the other side. So you've got your right knee nice and firm and straight, squaring the hips off to the center. Inhale, lifting the arms, shoulders are soft, looking over your right fingertips and breathe into your strong warrior two pose. Really feel the strength in this pose. And then gently bring your right elbow down to your right knee. Left arm comes up as you inhale. Good. And then gently let that left arm slide down your left leg as the right arm comes up when you inhale and looking skyward. And then relax the right arm. Let's walk the feet in a little bit closer. Good. So keeping our toes, I have to Catch my nose here, it's starting to run away. Excuse me. So, where were we? So we're gonna stand with our feet hip width apart. We're gonna keep the toes engaged to the mat. So just lifting the heels. Yeah, just start by lifting the heels left to right. Good. Getting those joints moving, getting everything flowing. And then as you're ready, bring your arms in to however you want them to be. If you want them to be out, in, out, in, or maybe up, down, up, down, or maybe take them in big circles. Nice wide range of motion. Just however you want to engage your arms. Breathing and keeping those toes engaged to the mat. Maybe you want to do a little dancing. That's always cool. Good. Or maybe just kind of strutting it out. Whatever works for you. Good. So now with our feet hip width apart, lining up. As you inhale, bring the arms up, push the hips forward. Exhale, come into forward fold, keeping the knees slightly bent. Inhale, coming into a halfway lift, hands are right below the kneecaps. 
Exhale, coming down into forward fold. Inhale, coming back into halfway lift. Exhale, sitting down in the chair. So the knees and the toes are lined up together, your head between your shoulders, nice little squat. And then exhale, come forward. Inhale, walk your hands up your legs, coming up very slowly, one vertebra at a time. Your head is the last thing to come up. Good. Beautiful. So let's come on down to our knees into tabletop. So we've got the hips and the knees lined up together and we've got the hands as closely underneath the shoulders as you can get them. So now as you inhale, we're going to extend that left le uh, right leg out, sorry, flexing the right foot. Let me come forward just a little bit. Yeah, flexing the right foot. Really feel this deep stretch in the right psoas muscle. And then let's bend the knee. Inhale, take the knee up to wherever it's comfortable. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest. Inhale, take it out to the side. Exhale, bring it back down. So now what we're going to do is stretch that right leg out. You can stretch it out in front of you to the side, or you can take it to the back. And we're just going to open up from here. Nice side stretch. And breathe. Good. And then release. And come back down into tabletop. So going over to the left side, extending that left leg out parallel to the mat, flexing the left foot, feel a long and strong stretch in this left psoas muscle. Good. And then gently bend the knee. Inhale, take it up to where it's comfortable for you. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest. Inhale, take it out to the side, back down to the mat. So now let's go over to this other side. You can have your foot in front of you or your foot out down to the back, whatever is best for your balance. And just take your arm up, left arm up and open. Good. Breathing. And then release the left arm. Come on back into tabletop. So let's do some cat cows. So keeping our knees and, and our hips together and our hands underneath our shoulders as you inhale, draw the navel into the spine. <clears throat> Feel your abs contracting. And then as you exhale, release the abs. The head and the tailbone come up together. Inhale, come curving the spine, contracting the abs. Mm. Exhale, release. Good. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release. Inhale, contract in the abs, feel them nice and tight. Exhale, stretch them out. Good. Last one. Inhale, take it up. <clears throat> Exhale, relax it down. Good. So now let's get that left knee up. Stretch out the right leg. And you can sit like this if, if this is a good side stretch for you or if you want to frame your left knee with your hands and come around sitting on that left hip you can come up here into up dog or if you want to come down to your elbows or you can come down to the mat putting a block under your head bringing the floor up to you you explore what feels good to you 
So once again, stretching out that hip, that psoas muscle all the way from the pelvis that wraps around the hip socket, goes all the way down to the femur in the leg. And breathe. Shoulders are soft. Good. Good. And then let's scoot that left knee back. Bring the right knee forward. Once again, you can have both knees bent. Coming into a stretch right here if you want to frame your right knee with your hands. Sitting on your right hip, you can always prop something underneath your hip as well if that would release some of the pressure on your knee. And then just come into whatever pose here is comfortable for you and take a few breaths here. Really feeling that deep stretch in the left psoas muscle. One of the longest muscles, if not the longest muscles in the body. Breathing, good, 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 beautiful. So let's scoot that left knee up. And with your hands pointed away from you, or you can have your hands pointed toward your fingers, pointed toward your hips. We're just gonna kick it out here. Just kick your legs out a little bit. Good. And then come on down to the backs. Inhale, arms come up. We're gonna come into a nice, long, full body stretch. So feel like that piece of taffy. Like you're being pulled from your fingertips, pulled from your toes. Pulling your navel into your spine. And breathing. And then relax the arms down to the sides. Pause here for a breath or two. Check in with your body. Make sure everything is copacetic. <laughs> and then as you're ready, inhale, come on up to a seated position. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up. Exhale, we're going to come down very gently and slowly, one vertebra at a time, continuing to work the abs. Take your time. and then pause for a breath when you reach the mat. We'll do a couple more of these. So inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, come down very slowly. Take your time. for a breath or two. We're going to do two more. So catch your breath here. And then inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Good, you've got this. Exhale, come on down gently toward the mat.
catch your breath here. We've got the last one coming up. So let's make this one really count. So inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, coming down. Last one. And then gently release your arms to the sides. I hope you all felt that like I did. <laughs> Woo! Giving our abs some love. Take a breath or two here. And then as you're ready, keeping the pelvic floor on the mat, bringing the knees slightly bent knees up, placing your hands behind your calves and gently pressing the knees towards your body. So you'll be feeling this in your hamstrings and calves, your quads, and your ankles if you're flexing your feet. And breathe. And then let's separate the feet. So take the feet up and down, flex them up and down. Maybe rotate the ankles, give them little circles. Maybe alternate up and down. Let your feet play. And then soles of the feet together, clasping your hands around your feet. Let's draw the feet in towards the chest to a nice deep hip opener. Breathing. And then place the feet on the mat, knees bent and gently guide your knees over from the left to the right. Let them kind of float in space. And then as you're ready, Placing the hands down at the sides with the palms facing down. Or if you'd like, you can clasp your hands underneath. Roll those shoulders back. Inhale, lifting the hips up skyward. Knees are firm and straight. Into our bridge pose, resting on your shoulders. And breathe. Really feeling this in your glutes all the way down to your ankles. And then gently relax. We'll do that one more time. So catch your breath. <clears throat> and then as you're ready, clasp your hands underneath. Roll the shoulders back or keep your palms face down on the mat. Inhale, hips come up, knees firm and straight, resting on your shoulders and breathe. and then gently release. Draw the knees into the chest, hands on the knees. We're gonna rotate the spine. So you can take your knees from left to right if you want, or you can take, it in, take them in big circles or little circles. Just feeling that nice massage in the lumbar sacral spine. Thank you. 
And then let's bring the, the legs out. We're going to cross that left foot over the right knee. Let your left arm go through the, the legs and meet underneath the right knee. So you've got both hands under the right knee. Gently press that right knee towards your body and feel the deep stretch in your, your hip on the left side. And the quad and the hamstring. And breathe. And then gently release the left leg. We're going to cross the right foot over the left knee. Thread that right arm between the legs. Both hands meet underneath the left knee and draw that left knee in towards the body. And breathe. Breathe down deep into that right hip. And then gently release your right, <coughs> your right foot. So we're going to just drop the knees over to the right side, arms extended out to the sides, head turns to the left, and take a few breaths here. Your knees do not have to come down to the mat. We can always slide something underneath. We want to keep our shoulders on the mat. <clears throat> And then as you're ready, guide the knees over to the left side and let them fall where they may. Head turns to the right and breathe. And then knees back to the center. Let's rock up to a seated position. Actually, I'll be in the seated position and you all get ready for Shavasana. So come into a comfortable reclining position, stretching out maybe with a bolster underneath your knees or blanket over you or block underneath your knees. However you want to come into Shavasana, it's so important to rest the entire physiology after you do any kind of exercise. So that's what I'm hoping that you will do, um, continue to do after we adjourn. But I want to thank all of you for being with me this morning. It's a beautiful day. Um, have a wonderful day. And until we meet again on Thursday, Remember to think peaceful thoughts, always speak kind words, and radiate as much love from your hearts as you possibly can. Sending love out to all of you. Namaste.